On February 8, 2013, The New York Times distributed a survey by John Embroder about an excursion between Washington, D.C., and Boston utilizing Tesla's supercharger Organize. At the time it included just two stations on the East Coast. Broder made an assortment of basic claims about the battery's execution in chilly climate and the separation between charging stations. The excursion finished with the Model S conveyed by a flatbed truck to the Milford, Connecticut, station. Tesla reacted by distributing logs of the vehicle's charge levels and driving velocity that repudiated Broder's record on a few verifiable points of interest. Tesla inferred that Broder's conduct constrained the auto to come up short. Broder answered to the feedback in a blog entry and proposed that the speed inconsistencies may have been on account of the auto had been furnished with 19-inch wheels as opposed to the predetermined 21-inch wheels. Amidst the discussion, a CNN journalist reproduced Broder's track without depleting the battery. In any case, two key contrasts recognized the two adventures. The climate was around 10 degrees Fahrenheit, 6 degrees Celsius, hotter and CNN did the outing in one day, the Times let the auto sit overnight without being connected to. A journalist from CNBC likewise reproduced the trek in one day without occurrences. After one week, a gathering of Tesla proprietors reproduced Broder's excursion without issues. One proprietor was postponed on the grounds that his auto neglected to charge and required two firmware refreshes. On February 18, 2013, The New York Times public editor Margaret Sullivan distributed a publication expressing that Broder took easygoing and uncertain notes of his test drive and did not utilize practical insight but rather she kept up that the article was composed in compliance with common decency. She additionally conceded that Broder's vehicle logs were once in a while very deceptive. In July and September 2014 tests performed by an autonomous German auto magazine in participation with the Juve, German Association for Technical Inspection, and Tesla proprietors appeared to uncover issues with the battery's execution. As indicated by the magazine, Tesla do not take up the welcome to rehash the test, and furthermore appear to decline to offer vehicles for a moment test. A test performed by another German distribution, Die Welt, upheld the discoveries, 